everyone it's Farouk there I hope everyone is doing well so in today's lesson I'd like to talk to you about text field which is a, a new UI object okay that you can use uh, either in um, Swift UI so text field in Swift UI is a simple control that shows an editable text interface okay equivalent to UI text field in UI kit uh, previously so because text field allows a user to type text it also needs a way of storing the entered text in a state variable which can then be used to read the input okay so the appearance of text field can further be customized by using text field style okay so in order to begin uh, this lesson we're going to launch uh, as usual your Xcode okay then create a new uh, Xcode project here you are going to select single view app then give it a name I'm going to call it text field okay demo en and then you're going to save it on your Mac okay cool so in order to initialize a text field, we need to pass in a placeholder string in a binding to a state variable which will store the value entered in the text field, okay? So first of all, as usual, we're going to click on resume and see if we get our canvas with the hello world text, okay? Okay, nice. As you can see, we have our hello world text displayed on the screen so it's pretty nice and now we can start our course so first of all here you are going to change this text by writing simply sign in just like that okay and you can see immediately the change in our canvas okay then we are going to make it bold so here press dot and just write bold just like that okay and normally your text at the right side should be uh, bold uh, right now okay then we're going to give it a font size so here you're going to write font then size just like that and maybe write the value 30 okay cool so now as we're going to use and call a text field you have to first embed the text object here in a stack view okay because you can have two objects without a stack okay so either you choose a v stack okay or a, a horizontal stack at stack okay so for our purpose we are going to use uh, the v stack vertical stack okay so press command on your keyboard here you are going to select embed in vstack and now our text object is uh, under the vstack here we are going to select as uh, the alignment leading okay and now we can we can specify we can call our text field object okay just like that we're going to open the parentheses and here select the first one okay in the first uh, parameter you have to write what you want uh, written uh, in the in the bar okay so here i'm going to write enter uh, your your email here ta 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 just like that okay and here actually as i was saying before we need a state variable which will store the, the input given by the user okay so here at state just like that var email which is a string okay and we are going to give it an empty value for the beginning and then here you can write simply email just like that okay and normally if right now I press on try again on resume we should see everything normally what's going on let me check okay maybe I'm going to add some padding just like that and normally as you can see now we have our text and our 
our text field, our placeholder, okay? We're going to customize them in order to have a nice uh, UI, user interface, okay? So we're going to styling the text field, okay? So add a border to the text field using the text field style modifier, okay? So here, maybe I'm going to give a space. Here you can call text field style and here create a rounded border text field style object, just like that, okay? And now, as you can see, we have our border. Cool. Then if you want to change uh, the input text uh, color, you have to use the, the foreground color modifier. So it's very easy. You just write foreground color and inside the parentheses you write, for instance, red. And now if I launch my canvas, for instance, okay, and here, if I write something, as you can see, uh, the text color is red, okay? It depends really on you if you want to, you know, customize fully your U user interface. By the way, I'm going to delete it. We don't need uh, it anymore, okay? Then maybe if you want to, to have uh, these two objects horizontally, you just have to change that by an edge stack, okay? Just like that, and here, change it by center, okay? And as you can see, our two objects right now are superposed horizontally, but I don't like this design, so I prefer my V stack, just like that. And here, I'm going to put it again, leading, just like that. And if you want to create some other objects in order to get some other uh, details, just like the password, etc., you don't need to rewrite all of these lines. You can simply copy paste them. But first of all, we are going to create another variable for the password, okay, just like that. So password, which is type of string as well. Okay, empty at the beginning. And now we can create this other VStack. But if we have two different VStack, we can group them in a one main VStack. Okay, so here you embed this VStack in this in another VStack. And now we can copy paste uh, these lines just like that. Okay, and normally our design should change. And here you can simply write password, just like that. Here as well, okay. Uh, here you can change it by the value that the, the user will give, give us, okay. That's all what I wanted to show you for today's quick lesson. I hope you, you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for my upcoming tutorials, okay, on my YouTube channel and also on my future website that I'm going to launch in a few weeks, okay? So thank you very much and I see you in the next lesson, guys. Bye-bye.